Black Moon Loth in your second house. What happens when we have the Shadow Planet Loa in your second house? So what is the second house? Second house is your family structure, your sense of security. It's your fixed assets, such as your home. It's showing where your, pretty much how your family structure is laid out. So essentially your dwelling. It's also the face, the eyes, the nose, the tongue, feeling, and hearing, the five senses. It also represents your vocal cords and how they sound. Not what comes out of it, the sound. Is it more alluring, more gentle sounding, or is it more deep? They can all be seen right there. Black Moon Love. Where she's placed, that's where your best form of empowerment and your true empowerment lies in. How you captivate, allure, seduce, and have people more likely to do what you want them to do. It also represents the unknown. It represents how you can carry acts of vengeance out. It also may potentially show where you have actually suffered trauma. So Lilith coming into the second, somebody being able to allure, captivate, seduce, take control of other people by their sight and by the words that come out of their mouth. Or essentially how they put makeup or how they use their face and decorate it with makeup or cosmetics to actually get people more alert to them. Some people actually with Black Moon Lilith in the second may actually have a, a glare or essentially a gaze that they throw at people to simply get them to become like captivated by them. Just a simple gaze bring somebody to become stuck to it. And people are drawn to this individual's face because Black Moon Lilith essentially is a shadow point, a shadow planet where it's just a black void. And usually when something's in a void, it pulls things to it. So somebody's face pulls people to them. Their eyes pull to them. Their words that they speak, they can actually speak in a way that's very intoxicating and alluring to people. And they get acts of revenge by simply, to best put it, they actually may speak things that are very dark or they may pretty much put on a tone that actually afflicts dread to someone. So for an example, say, if you're trying to strike fear into somebody, you can actually give somebody a look that afflicting terror to someone by just speaking something and giving a glare. And one finds empowerment by how they speak and their senses. So you can see as someone gets more attuned to the world around them, and their home and their dwelling and what they find secure, they actually become more empowered and more grounded in that regard. One also finds a lot of empowerment with fixed assets such as jewelry, that, that's an option, stones and crystals, as well as investments that stay fixed, so like a house, a home. You could, I would not consider a car in this endeavor, but primarily somebody is able to use their senses and ways of communication, such as the tone of the voice, to allure and captivate people. Because usually in this house, Lilith focuses primarily on the beauty aspect and the sound of the voice aspect to seduce and allure people to come towards them. When it comes to trauma now, this can actually show that somebody potentially may have been cause trauma by somebody in their family. Or it could be a mother, father figure, or even a sibling. It has potential. But the way that the empowerment gets found is by pretty much beautifying the face, even also simply taking something as like dark eyeshadow, putting that on, or even using beauty products such as a charcoal body scrub, or even a charcoal mask. Putting that on actually activates the Lilith, making it stronger and more apparent. So if you're wanting to make yourself more alluring to other people, consider at least every, I would have to say every Monday, every Monday night, put on a black charcoal mask and then just use the product as 
described and then just remove it. That will actually help strengthen the wealth and the seduction capabilities, as well as massaging the throat, allowing it to be more flexible in the way that you speak. So this one is not as, as powerful as it was in the Ascendant, but still Black Moon Love in the second house, she considers it a friendly house. 